in the moment, in the minute, in the hour of today. It will be a revelation. I've got something to say. This section is called The Ultimate Denial of Opportunity. It comes as quite a surprise that for once Parliament is actually on our side. So who is this they I keep bringing up? Who is this they that stamp on our luck? It would appear that everyone has an opinion, exercising freedom of speech over each and every one of our dominions. They enter into our lives without a moment's grace, taking pot shots to our hearts, without a moment's thought of the hurting they cause that breaks our souls apart. wonder for a moment why the tracks are so bold. Are they tales of success or tales of the unresolved? And when you look at me, come on, look at me now. Do you think loser, whinger, pangs of pity or a furrowed brow? Or do you think brave man, strong man, not what you expected? Is there a murmur of surprise? We've got to be strong, we've got to hold on tight. This is a war. So back to where I started, and back to the pub with the hurting. Is it any wonder that so many of my fellows yearn an early departing? But if I question the motives of disability excused infanticide, am I in danger of being a hypocrite if I interfere with the broken and their plans for suicide? I was 14 and flattered by the thought I could be anything I wanted to be. with a list of what I couldn't do, a no-go list they had devised. With a plum in his mouth and a stick up his ass, he began to take control. With an attitude of pity and a wit somewhere lower, he began to break my soul. Everybody's pointing, and it's ever so disappointing. I'm pointing his own, and I want to run away. Cause everybody's pointing, it's ever so disappointing. Cause I'm an epiphany that my medical condition is not my disability. I want to shout from the rooftops, my mind is no longer a muddle. We can make sense of it all. It's called the social model. Go on, applause for my future. Clap, I'm secure. Safe in the knowledge I can conquer all before. And it hits me like a punch in the face. We're stronger than you think Which takes us to the very brink Of self-control or violence Or certainly civil disobedience As our battle cries For the right to a life For a purpose and an income Not the luck of the dice We'll win and stand together, we won't self-destruct We'll trample all our people, don't ever give up But it's not just the dead over whom I'm aggrieved At the hasty we hear stories that leave us intrigued Tales of our soldiers who have lost the will to fight Brought down from the barricades by the most pernicious of plights When the struggle becomes overshadowed by the bickering within our agenda divided as we become a reflection of the very people we have for so long despised, rallied against, fought and largely vilified. And at these crises of confidence, baffled with such false bravado, 
that leave the movement in disarray, dysfunctional and nowhere to go. How many names will die in vain? How many people have to suffer the pain of the bullies, the bigots in a cruel, cruel world where the weak and untold remain unheard? Some of the things I will tell you may shock you on the spot. Others may play in your psyche and return when you expect it not. Not to matter what you think of others, or how they think, or how they're built. You find yourself between two places, happiness and guilt. It's a great lo location for saving the itinerant, disabled people and the odd degenerate from taking a step in the wrong direction. As to be honest, you know, we don't do resurrection. Well, that was a one-off to prove a point to the masses that refusing to accept can be truly disastrous. So our customer service is not about appeasement. We work against oppression to support greater achievement. It makes me cross. It makes me cry. It makes me wonder what are the reasons why so many of my people feel the same as me. They wonder about all the things they could have been. But my future. Our future, your future, my future should be mine to do with as I please, to make my own successes and to make my own mistakes. So, when the adrenaline kicks in, I know where and the kind of changes I need to make. I never found the job that I was looking for. Now, back at the hasting and the hurting, the most remarkable tavern, when the landlord, that's me, Peter, works 24-7. You see, for a few of my patrons, this might be the last pint I serve, but I cannot rest without knowing, for those who deserve to be given the opportunity to rise from their plight, to return to the living, to fight the good fight, for many years have been here and stared longingly at heaven's gates. But if intervention is prudent, then it's never too late. To walk back out through the indoor, to return to the action, to stand up for what you believe in and demand some action. If you remember, I started by presenting a riddle, and I hope you'd agree that I haven't been idle. In looking at the myths and the resultant behaviour that illuminates the sinners and yourself, as your saviour. Hanging on to my pride. But the tale is sad and riddled with death. So let's take a drink for those whose health has ailed them and dropped them at the hurting's front door. Don't never give up. Thank you. Very nice, because it makes you think about what happened to yourself, and you've gone through some of those things that you was Robin was singing, like you know, it brings back things to you and. You think, yeah, it does happen. And it does, doesn't it? Yeah, really good. Fantastic. Fantastic. The speech was absolutely brilliant. It should be on the internet and people would say, this is a big, you should listen to it and understand it. It was that good.